Welcome to this tutorial on how to access GIS ArcMap on your Mac at the York School. The first step is you're going to want to locate the Network Drives folder in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. This folder, once opened, will locate all of the Network Drive folders available at the York School. The one you're looking for is the York Terminal Server. The York Terminal Server, once double click will allow you to access a virtual PC running off a server at the York School. This will allow us to run PC-only map. Uh, apps like ArcMap. If you see any of these dialog boxes that come up along the way, and there may be a few, just hit continue or close them as they're not important. Once you arrive at this familiar Windows screen, use your York School username and password to log in. Once you log in, this screen will appear. It's a simple stripped down Windows environment. What you're looking for is ArcMap. This is the application that you'll need. But before we can do that, we need some GIS data. That, and for that, we're going to need to move to the Windows Explorer to access our network drives. So let's open some of our network drives to find the data we're looking for. So notice on the left-hand side are all the network drives available at the York School. We're going to look for the Senior School Shared Space, and specifically IB Geography. IB Geography is where our geography teacher will store the GIS data. Notice the folders in here, GIS data, collection sheets, and so on. Let's open this up. And here is a folder called Intro to GIS Data. If prompted, some of these other folders may be required to be dragged and dropped. Now that we've done this, let's open up a new folder by hitting Command N or by actually going down to Windows Explorer and just opening a, a new window. So we can have the two side by side. On one side, the folder we want to move, and the other we want to now move to our M drive. This M drive, with your first initial last name on it, is your own network space. And it is here that you're going to want to move some data. So let's make a folder now called GIS. I've already done that. It's here. And this is where we're going to call it a sort of home base. Let's open it up. And our GIS folder is where we're going to um, bring over some data. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to drag that folder over and drag it in to my own folder. At that point, that intro to GIS data will go all the way over. Now that I've got my data and it is on my network space on my computer, I can close it. I'm now going to open ArcMap and I have access to ArcGIS as well as my ArcMap data by just simply navigating to it through the interface of ArcMap. The difference here is your data isn't on your computer but rather on your network space on your computer. So let's cancel this and now go File, Open, and navigate now to your network drive. Find your GIS folder, intro to GIS data, and here are part A, B, C, and D of the particular data sets and projects that I'm going to want to be working with. Once I hit Open, it'll bring those projects in, and now I can work on those in this environment. Step-by-step -step instructions will be provided by your teacher. Once finished, make sure you press Save and Close. If you want to go back to any of those projects, you can easily go to Windows Explorer, your network space, your GIS folder, your Intro to GIS data folder, or whatever folder you're working on, and just execute them from here, taking you right back to where you were the next time. So. This has been a tutorial showing you when, um, how and where to save data, but also how to find that data again should you need to. Once you're done, you can go to the Start menu and hit Log Off, and it will close your session entirely, logging you out of this entire virtual PC back to your Mac, and you can close that, that, that browser window, and away you go. Good luck.